If you love Jesus, ApostolicSundaySchool.com Why hello there and welcome to ApostolicSundaySchool.com Today we're going to be teaching another lesson and this one is about David and Goliath. So tonight I need someone's help. I need the biggest, meanest, roughest, toughest, strongest, most bad to the bone dude I can find. Uh, but I can't find any, so Logan, you'll have to do it. Uh, come on up. Just kidding, just Hilarious. kidding. So Logan here is going to be Goliath today. Now, the people of Israel, they had this big old boy. He was out there fighting them, and he was out there just yelling at them and Rah! being just a mean, right? So, Goliath, I need you to show us just how tough you are today. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try this. We're going to do a contest of strength. So, Goliath, right here, I got a bottle. So what I want you to do is when I say, I want you to squeeze that as hard as you can, and I want to see how high you can score that diamond. You ready? All right, I'm going to scoop over here. Don't try to get me wet. On the count of three, one, two, three, go, Goliath! Ah, oh, so Okay, I think we've probably got, I think it's safe to say five feet, probably. probably. Five feet. Let's give Goliath a hand, everybody. All right, Goliath, give yourself a hand. Woo! Got two. Can you give yourself a hand? All right, nice to that. So, Goliath there was pretty tough. You know, he got that a whopping five feet. But did you know that God was sick of putting up with his mouth? Because he was out there for 40 days just berating the Israelites and telling them what a bunch of bums they were. But he got sick of it. And so you know what he did? What? He decided to make him feel a little bit embarrassed. In fact, he didn't need the toughest Israelite. He didn't need the toughest Israelite to be the, the toughest Philistine. He needed just a small boy. So I need a small, cute, innocent young man. And I can't find any of those. So Riley, why don't you come here? No, I'm kidding. This is David. Can you say hi, David? Hi. All right. So David here is going to show Goliath just how tough he can be. Now, Goliath, you did that with your own strength, right? But Riley here, David, is going to show us how strong you can be to be at God's side. Now, God let him have a few tools. God let him have a slingshot and five smooth stones, didn't he? Here's one smooth stone there. There's two, three, four, and five. Now, all David had was five smooth stones. Just like that. That's all he had. But that's all he needed. Because God doesn't need a whole lot to show Goliath that he's really just a wimp. A cap off. I'm going to be over here. I want to see just how tough Goliath is. Hold that just a sec. Whew. We're going to go ahead and screw this on here. Perfecto. Give me your five foods. 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 No. Give me your five smooth stones. Go ahead and put them in here in your slingshot. Get it all loaded up. Goliath, you did about five feet, didn't you? You did it with your own muscles, right? Just working as hard as you could. But when you have God on your side, you can do so much more. And I want you to pull it, and then we're going to run. What do you think, Goliath? Do you think you lost? Do you think David whipped you? See, with five smooth stones, and more importantly, the help of God, he showed Goliath that he was just a big one. And in the story, David ended up whipping Goliath, cutting his head off, and they won the battle because someone believed in God. What do you guys think? Pretty cool? All right. Till then, God bless and happy Sunday.